hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here here the first question is asking a 1.6 kilogram block on an block on a horizontal frictionless surface is attached to an ideal massless spring whose spring constant is 190 newton per meter the block is pulled from its equilibrium position at x is equal to 0 meter to a displacement x is equal to 0 0.08 right and is released from rest the block then executes simple harmonic motion along the horizontal x-axis what is the velocity of the block at time t is equal to 0 0.40 now to find the velocity we use this equation that is v is equal to minus a omega sine omega t right so this is a generic equation now let's see here we have the amplitude that's provided because the block is pulled from equilibrium position to displacement this is going to be the amplitude and we have amplitude omega we don't have that one so we have amplitude and time time is 0 0.4 now we have to figure out omega omega to find omega since uh, they have provided this constant and mass we can use this equation that is omega is equivalent to square root of k over m right here k is going to be spring constant that's going to be 190 and then mass is 1.6 and if you calculate this one you should get actually 10.897 right so this is the value that omega gives us now we have all the information all we have to do is just plug the values and find the final answer now here we are going to have minus a omega a value is this one 0 0.08 0 0.08 times 10.897 sine 10 point so let's uh, you know we need more space minus 0 0.08 times omega that is 10.897 sine 10.897 times 0 0.4 second so this is going to be our sine and then we have all this information and if you calculate this one you should get 0 0.817 meter per second this is approximately 0 0.82 so the answer is going to be D now let's look at the next question next question is asking a 0 0.025 kilogram block on a horizontal frictionless surface is attached to an ideal massless spring whose spring constraint is 150 newton per meter the block is pulled from its equilibrium position at x is equal to 0 to a displacement this one again this is going to be our amplitude so if they say the block is pulled from equilibrium position to displacement that generally means that's an, that's the amplitude and it's released from rest the block uh, then executes simple harmonic motion along the horizontal x-axis when the displacement x is equal to 0 0.024 what is the kinetic energy of the block so here we can use uh, we can use the energy equation to use the energy equation this is the formula total energy total energy is equivalent to mechanical energy i mean not mechanical energy, kinetic energy kinetic energy plus potential energy right now here the the question is asking for kinetic energy let's rearrange this equation kinetic energy is going to be equal to total energy minus potential energy now total energy is given by half k a square a is amplitude and half k a square that's the total energy equation now potential energy is half k x square right k time displacement square now here we can take a half k common so let's put equal sign 
Here we can take half k common. If we take half k common, this will be a square minus x square, right? Now let's find the final value. Half k is 150 times amplitude is 0 0.08. 0 0.08 square minus this displacement square. This will be 0 0.024 square, right? And if you calculate this one, you should get 0 0.4368 Joule. So the answer that matches this one is going to be this one, 0 0.44. This is approximately 0 0.44 Joule. So the answer is D. Now let's look at the next question. Next question is asking, a 0 0.25 kilogram ideal harmonic motion, harmonic oscillator has a total mechanical energy of 4 joule if the oscillation amplitude is 20 centimeter what is the oscillation frequency so frequency equation is this f is equal to 1 over 2 phi square root of k over m now let's look at the information given we have the mass provided but we don't have the constant spring constant now Okay, so we don't have this constant. To find this constant, what we can do is here we have the mechanical energy provided and we know that total energy, right? So total mechanical energy. From this one, we know that total energy is half k square. We can use the same equation here too. Total energy is equal to half k a square and 4 joule is total energy that is equal to half times k times amplitude is also provided 20 centimeter that is 0 0.2 meter square right and that's going to be k therefore k, k is what we are trying to find k is going to be equal to 8 because i multiply these two other sides so that's going to be 8 over 0 0.2 square and if you calculate this one you should get 200 newton per meter now we have the spring constant so we can solve for this frequency so frequency is going to be 1 over 2 phi square root of 200 divided by the mass that is 0 0.25 and if you calculate this one you should get 4.5 hertz so the answer is going to be d so that's going to be our final answer i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time